so I just wanted to quickly come on here and make a little YouTube video about a painting that I made and it kind of went viral on Twitter and a lot of people loved it so I thought that I would make a little video tutorial on like the materials I use and how I made the painting kind of. So the original painting was commissioned by a friend of mine and she wanted like a big a big canvas but not like a crazy big canvas so I recommended the 30 by 40 inch canvas and she was like yeah and then I sent her like the reference photo that I used and she liked that so that's what I used so I used a 30 by 40 inch canvas so it's it's really nice and big like it's not crazy big but it's a it's a statement piece which is what I really liked so it's 30 by 40 inches long and the thickness is three quarter inch so if i'm doing a profile like a if i'm doing a portrait i'll use 1.5 inch width but since this was um a pretty light painting i went with um a three quarter inch canvas so this particular canvas comes with these wood chips which i love because basically what you do is you complete the stretching process you don't want the canvas to dip because when you're painting and when you're varnishing if there's a lot of paint that you use it's gonna kind of dip the canvas and you don't want that you want it to be super stretched and you so you can when you paint it doesn't sink now the main paint I'm going to be using is black and dark gray so before I mix the paint I'm just going to go off and use some tape and section it off. I'm going to mix some black paint and I'm going to be painting this whole section. Black paint is I'm going to go in with some gray and do these lines. So I did the outline of the black cloth over here and I did a quick pencil sketch of the writing on the actual gaba. So as you can see, it's not that pretty right now, but that's honestly just how it is when, with all of my paintings. There's not, it's not pretty like the whole way, so like process, so if you're trying to paint or do calligraphy or anything like that just trust the process don't get frustrated even if you're going through your ugly phases just keep going keep going through and you will here is a close-up of the writing on the cloth as you can see i just went in with some copper um marker because i wanted to make sure that i could see it when i'm going in with the black uh the arabic is a complete when i go in with my brush i'll fix it up but this is how it looks before So now that everything's done, I'm going to go ahead and varnish it with gloss varnish. Um, basically what this will do is it'll protect the painting from any um, UV rays and any scratches that may come on it and it also kind of brightens up the color. I'm going to go in with this and... 